Hello and welcome to Ground Control. I have made the adjustments to my EPP 48 centimeter wingspan glider. The, the modifications that I was talking about, that uh, what I would do different if I had to do it over again. And so what I did was I extended the surface area of the ailerons by 35 millimeters, which increases the surface area of the ailerons by 30%. So that should give me a much better roll rate and we're going to take it out and test that. And then also on the elevator, I couldn't move my servo up five millimeters, of course, but what I did was I went ahead and put a bend in the control rod so that now it's level with the control horn. And I'm hoping that will give me a little more granularity on the elevator. So this should be even funner to fly now. So I'm going to take this out and test the modifications that I made to it. May require a little trimming since I've changed the control surfaces a bit. But we'll find out after we get out there. I'm sure this is going to really increase the roll rate on this thing. So I will see you out the field and we'll see how it does. Okay, we are out here with our converted glider and this is a test flight to test the mods I made to the aileron and the elevator so wind is at three to four so it's not bad at all at least on the ground let's see what we have oh yeah definitely <laughs> definitely increase the aileron I may have to tone those down a little bit. Uh, let's bring it down a little bit. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to, I think, tone those down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Definitely increase the roll rate, guys. So that aileron modification is a good one. But I am going to have to tone the rates down on it a little bit. It really moves when I give it aileron now. Of course, that is a 30% increase in throw or in control surface. Yeah, I like that a lot better. All right, still have plenty of elevator. Good. It looks like I'm going to have to adjust the elevator downward a little bit if it wants to climb. You do still need speed, you know, um, when you're doing these rolls because it's a pusher on the tail. And so you need that speed to have wind going over those control surfaces, okay? If it was a tractor, it would be a different story, but since it's a pusher, the only wind that's going over the control surfaces are the, is the wind as it's flying through the air. So you can't, you can't do those maneuvers slowly. Yeah, that's awesome. But it is going to require a little bit of trim work. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. I am very happy with the responsiveness on the ailerons now. Awesome. Try to split S with it now. Oh, yeah, that was easy. That was easy.
and it stays nice and steady when I throttle it up, so that's great. I was I was afraid I was going to have to perform more trim work than what it looks like I'm going to need. How's that for a stall? It doesn't recover from a stall nearly as well as my park jets do. So keep that in mind. It needs an altitude to recover it. But split S's work great now. So split S's and rolls. It's even more acrobatic than it was. All right. Let's go down here and come back and land it. No flaps in. Woo! All right. So. Those modifications are a huge plus. So with those updated uh, plans and templates that I provided you, those have those these modifications in the templates and the plans. So you're good to go if you have the latest ones. And you can see the aileron, I extended it by 30% all the way to where this uh, trailing edge of the wing kicks out. So. That's where you want them. That worked out really well, guys. So I'm happy with that. Got a little trim work to do, but I'm going to put some more battery packs through it. So thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out our Patreon site. We have a lot of free content there as well. And I will see you in the air.